you have to do the three exercise, uh, three films exercise. After uh, second year, I graduate with my uh, 30 minutes movie. Uh, and I think it's school is very interesting because I, I, I hadn't paid for it. <laughs> but uh, um, but it's take you out from two years because you, you, you don't uh, have the opportunity to work uh, and earn money. It's 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 a big problem, but but it, it's a it's a it's about choosing. Um, so now I'm on master class in uh, Vida school, um, and um, it's a li little different because uh, uh, now I have my uh, my 30 minutes movie, and um, now I'm working on a f feature project. So. Uh, if it, it's works like that, if you had an idea for a movie, you go you you go there, uh, you go there, and you work on the the scripts. And f first, uh, first of all, you uh, choose one scene from your uh, idea or your treat, uh, yeah, and um, and you shoot it and edit it. It is it's like uh, you have to try. Uh, you, you're trying one scene from your movie. It, and the end, this the school you have uh, mm, the scenario, the script, and uh, two uh, two two scenes from your movie. Of course, of course, it's it's like the, the trying. So it's uh, it's not a part of movie because. Y but but you, you you can try it so so we, so th that's all i have uh, now on i have uh, in class one uh, uh foreign foreign uh, student it's from israel but he's living in poland like i don't know 10 years so he he know polish um so every lessons are in polish yeah okay so that's all sorry I don't know anything about Poland. I, I'm not supposed to be here. No. <laughs> but you are here somehow, so then yeah. we'll stand you. Um, well, I, I don't know. I feel a little bit weird, like just to promote my film school. It's not for promotion, but it's you tell your experience. Like, how, like, so Ukrainian students, if there are some film students, would understand the difference and okay. similarities. So you, you are film students, like most of you guys. Do we have film students uh, here? Here. Or somebody who some, wants... Some of you are film students or are thinking about studying film or something like that. Okay. Okay. So I think I was just talking about this kind of stuff with these Ukrainian guys uh, that study in actually in a film school here in Kiev yesterday night and uh, they were yeah like surprised of how much support I've got from my film school in Mexico that's um, like I think everyone is always complaining about their own country right and their own film school like always saying like my film school is terrible because they do not support this or that or my country horrible because they do not support this or that but I actually like get to realize <laughs> got to realize that um, yeah they support me a lot and not only me but al also the foreigner students and all the people that study in, in the school so my film school is in Mexico City it's, uh, it's a four-year program plus uh, like the time that you need to spend and like need to do your thesis project, right? So theoretically, it's like five years, but but it's not. <laughs> I spent like eight years of my life in yeah in film school, but it's not that I'm complaining. It's actually great eight years that I spent there, and uh, but yeah, like the first two years are like common topics and common subjects between all the, the uh, like, yeah, the different, how do you say, uh, the different filmmaking areas, right? So it doesn't matter if you're a cinematographer or a producer or a sound designer or whatever, you study the same things for the first two years. 
So everybody got like the same knowledge or the same base of knowledge. And after the two years, you get this um, to the to this point, you have to decide where er, what area do you like the most, and then you start like getting special subjects and special lessons for each guy. And even um, like also theoretically, it's open to every area of the filmmaking process. But in reality, it's just about only two areas, like direction and cinematography. Like you could do anything, but it's like the film school is specialized in those two areas. And after, yeah, like the next two years, you continued like exercising and doing short films and stuff like in your area. So if you're a cinematographer, you only like start shooting and shooting and shooting films from the directors. And it's it's a small promotion, it's only like 15 guys, 15 or 17 guys per, per promotion. Um, and at the end you get like three fiction films like very seriously made, a lot of exercises and two documentary films. Uh, and your thesis project could be whatever you want, even short film or a feature film. It's about the money, that you get some money to do your thesis project and whatever you want to do and whatever you, you're able or you're capable to do with that money, with that amount of money. But the school like gives you all the equipment. We've got like lightning equipment, cameras, like film cameras, digital cameras lenses um, and you you get also like money <laughs> like uh, to to spend it wherever you want to or wherever you need to and uh, yeah it's like f for the 15 uh, spaces that are available for the students like three spaces are for foreigner students and 12 spaces are for national students we usually get like three uh, generally, they, the, these three spaces are filled with um, people from Central America, like from Guatemala, Nicaragua, um, El Salvador, because there are not like a lot of film schools there, so they go to Mexico to study. Uh, but we, we have also a very great exchange program. Uh, so I studied one year at FAMU, at the um, Prague's film school in an academic exchange. So I went to Prague for a year to study and a Czech girl went to Mexico to study for a year. And that has happened three times. Uh, it's only about you looking out for this kind of exchanges. So I was like organizing this kind of thing, like pushing to get it for like six months. Like just sending letters to FAMU to, because I wanted to study for a year there. And yeah, I was in this academic exchange program for a year, like studying in English, of course, not in Czech, because it was hard. I, I needed to like learn Czech, really good Czech for six months or something. So I tried to study Czech for three months, but only for me to be able to, I don't know, to go to the supermarket and like talk to people, but, but not to study. It would be great if you tell us about FAMU also, because it's much closer. <laughs> from here and okay. to f how to compare it to Mexican education. And yeah, uh, I think FAMU has this one great thing, I think, that is um, like you get to specialize like really good in whatever area you want. So they've got like, I think, 10 or 8 specializations, if I can say so. It's, uh, they've got like direction, but also documentary direction and cinematography, uh, animation music, sound design, art direction, acting. So they've got like all this, and it, what? And um, it's all about, uh, yeah, it's something close to this Mexican system that I've been telling you about. That it's uh, like, I think it's the first year that you study like the same things, everyone study the same things. And after this year, you start like specializing in your area. And, uh, well, I, I've only got to study in this international FAMU program. I didn't get to study in the Czech program. 
And I think it's much better in the Czech program than uh, the international program. It's not that I'm like, I didn't have fun or I didn't learn anything in the international program because that's not what I'm saying. Uh, but I think that it's much more like a deeper education and much more rich education in the Czech program. So if I had to choose again, I would definitely choose the Czech program and I would definitely have to choose like study for six months Czech or one year Czech and then study. And I think, well, yeah, it, for Ukrainian people, it's much easier than for Mexican that it's completely different language and completely different stuff, right? Um, so, yeah, but it's, uh, this year that I studied at FAMO, it was great for me because I didn't have to like complete any special course or lesson. So I got, I've got the opportunity just to enjoy and take a lot of different lessons and watch lots of different cinema that I'm used to it, so um, that I'm used to. So it was great, this kind of stuff. So yeah, after, after the fifth year, more or less, you start preparing your thesis project and it can be um, uh, how, it, it, it could be like very long process or very short process, it's up to you. And for me it was like a two year process, <laughs> very long, hard, horrible process. But like since I was starting to prepare it till I finish it and have my professional exam. And the thing is like in Mexico it's really respected this film school and everybody that you're coming from this film school you, you always like could get a job or something because it's very well known. And especially in cinematography there are like some great uh, cinematographers that were studying there. Like um, um, the cinematographer of, well, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Mexican filmmakers, but the cinematographer of, uh, of Alejandro González Iñárritu, of like Amores Perros and this kind of, and he also was the cinematographer of Ang Lee and Spike Lee. And, um, this guy studied at my film school and the cinematographer of Guillermo del Toro also studied at my film school. So it's really well respected in the cinematography area. And in the direction area, it's also about, it's more about like national, because there has been, but you, you won't know any names that I could mention about this kind of guys. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. And thank now you. like one more question from me to everybody. So we'll start from Lucas to take the mic. Hello. Hello. And then we'll go to the questions with the audience. So uh, is, do you think it was necessary for you to go to, s to film school or you could become the director and to film without it? Was it useful theoretically, practically, or you think it was just, I, I understand that it's useful for you because you're also here and uh, your films are great. But I mean, like, do you think is it possible to get the same level and to get the same resources without film school? And, and one, yeah, one, uh, just to, to mention that uh, Lukas is director of film Matka, the mother, that also was in student competition. Uh, uh, Lim Tengun is the director of film Wrong, and Alejandro is the director of film uh, uh, Story of a Blood Drained Girl. Yeah. So go on. So um, for me, it was uh, very important to go to the school because um, I really mm, want to make a movie, be a filmmaker, because I have something to tell i i thought it like uh, like this mm, so i think it was was impossible to do so much progress m without school because uh, it's uh, it's about um, storytelling it's uh, always about uh, um you know it's uh, in in school in, uh, in my school uh, it was really good um, uh, there was that they were really good tutors could who they um, put uh, put me on the re, uh, you know to the right path to the right way uh, of uh, thinking about uh, characters about the uh, the people I want to t talk about. It's um, because it's about the dramatur dramaturgy. It's about you have to learn how to tell a story correct. Of course, you can do it uh, wrong if you want. Uh, after all, you know it's how to uh, make it right. You know. It's like in art, you always uh, uh, 
uh, you learn how to it's in, in co co correct to do it but if you do it but you have to be uh, um, you have to know it you, you know um, so so uh, for me now I'm I am on master class it's, it's the same story because story uh, storytelling in a short movie is really different than in a feature movie because uh, it's not about the per uh, it's all okay it's about the time but it's about dramaturgy there it's about how uh, how to write a story who is uh, really in intense who is uh, which is really intense which is uh, which is uh, interesting for the people uh, and uh, and to do it right so um, now i'm working on a feature and th th this school, I, I, uh, it's it's not really school. It's like master class. So, but it's called Vida School. But it's like master class. Uh, we, it, it's, um, it's. I think it's important to, to go there because uh, if you don't have people to to talk about your project um, by yourself, uh, making a movie by yourself is, is impossible. It's my opinion. You have to meet people, talk with people about uh, the scenario, about the script, about your, uh, you know, what's your, what is inside, what is interesting about this, uh, what you want to talk, to talk about, of course. Um, and uh, for me, making a movie is uh, the, the base. Uh, is the the crew is important, of course. And uh, for me, uh, is uh, uh, the most important in in uh, making movie is uh, uh, if I have a team. Uh, to go to the war because uh, making movies like war. If you have some, uh, I don't know, a team brother, like uh, brothers in arm, you know, so so y you you win. If you don't have, you lose. So uh, in school uh, there is uh, you find inspired by. Of course, you 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 can uh, always uh, agree with everyone. You have to find yourself there. You know, I'm always be a rebel. Uh, now I'm now now in this school, in Vida school. I'm really, uh, you know, I'm fighting with people all the time because I I think they 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 want to me, they they want uh, uh, to um, they 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 want to, to make some others other movie from from my script. You know, so. Okay, but it's 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 a progress. It's it, it, sometimes you have to do it because you if you are uh, uh, always agree with everyone, you will be like normal, you know. Just but it's not about it, you know. So it's it's okay. That's great, a great metaphor, and I think Alejandro wants yeah. to say something there. You've got a violence problem, Lucas. <laughs> what is violence? Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. It's all about war and going to the war and fighting. <laughs> I prefer the love concept of cinema. <laughs> no, yeah, it's love. Now I, I agree in somehow what um, Lucas was saying that um, I think the most important thing of a film school is actually the thing that was um, Asaf was. Uh, talking about that was like networking, like having yeah. this kind of fellow students that you can share a passion and a way of living or a, uh, yeah, a path, you might call that. Um, so I think this is the most important, but film school is not the only way that you can get to have a network. You can also work. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's, well, maybe it's harder for some people or easier for some people, but I think it's, it's a choice that you have to do, much like Asaf was saying, right? That you, you kind of get into a point that you have to choose either I work and I get my network from that or I study in a film school and I get my network from that. But it's, it's what um, Lucas was saying, that it's all about people. Because film, it's, you cannot do it alone. So it's always about knowing people and get people to be interested in your project and help you or helping others to get their projects going on. Uh, so in that way, I think the most important thing in film schools, th there shouldn't be this, this thing I, I don't agree with, Lucas, but it, about the, the lessons, I, I'm always like also fighting people uh, with people that um, are telling me that this is the right way or this is the wrong way. I think art 
shouldn't be like this. Uh, it's more about workshops, like working a lot, like practicing, exercising. And this way you can find yourself and your voice and the w things that you want to say. Uh, and yeah, do not listen to your teachers ever. If you go to film school, do not listen to them. Like, yeah, take whatever it's good from them, but it's not like follow them blindly because if not, you end up like being like a strange bad copy of their cinema, not your cinema. Well, I, I, I think at least. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come, on, give it. Come on, Lucas, be a good boy. <laughs> can I? Can I? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, um, of course, I agree with uh, this guy's uh, this, uh, opinion. Uh, in case of my school, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, not all, but uh, uh, most Asian students are a little shy when they uh, tell uh, opin uh, this opinion. If so, uh, in case of my school, uh, like a uh, scenario class, like, uh, not much, uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, not, not much, uh, talk each other, you know, so, but, uh, after class, uh, when they, are uh, drinking <laughs> some alcohol, <laughs> they talk about, uh, many, many, uh, scen uh, about scenario, so, uh, that is the point. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, the most important thing uh, I think, uh, friends, uh, because uh, friends uh, sometimes are for you, uh, sometimes staff for staff crew for you, and sometimes cri critic your uh, critic your scenario, and sometimes uh, drinking friends, and sometimes, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, friends is first I think. So uh, that is the. Uh, Mm, uh, that's the, uh, I think I just I think uh, that's the important thing uh, uh, first first important thing. But yeah. do you drink with your teachers? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, yeah. In London, every lunch break we went with them to the pub. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really have a choice if to study or not because I come from a Jewish place. Uh, Jewish house, and if I want to, if I want to stay in touch with my mother, I had to go to study. But uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. But uh, I, I don't think you have to study. Actually, uh, I think, I think studying gives you two main advantages, except for what we said about networking. It's a structure, and a structure pushes you to create. That's that's something that I think is good at the beginning of your career. And the second is just that. Okay, one of your best things that you can have in order to keep on creating and get funds for creating is a short film. And, and the best way to get a short film, I mean, it's much more convenient to make a short film as a student rather than just an independent individual that never did anything in his life. You get uh, discounts and you get, people just feel a lot of mercy for you because you're a student. And, you and it's a lot of pity and, and it's a good way to make a short film. <laughs> it's a kind of profitable, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's, I think we can it. go to Q&As Q now from the audience. So if you have uh, questions, raise your hands and ask. Don't be shy. Could you pass <laughs> Do you want to sing something, Minwa? The question is, what do you think about Ukraine? How is it? Like, who's, who, who are you asking? Who are you asking? This guy? Alejandra. Okay. <laughs> you have <laughs> it's just sir. Yeah, yeah. For sure. No, for sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. Like, yesterday night I went, like, w with some Ukrainian guys that I met just 
night walking all over Kiev and drinking. Uh, yeah, well, for me, it's one of the most beautiful places that I've met, but I, uh, but that I've seen. But it's I've only been in Kiev, right? I, I haven't been like all over around the Ukraine. I want to go to uh, Odessa, but I don't know if I have enough time because I'm living on Sunday back to the other part of the world, like 18 hours from here. <laughs> so, yeah, well, I think it's great, but I, I was just, uh, yesterday night, I was just like trying to write down a lot of names of Ukrainian filmmakers because I don't get to see Ukrainian films in Mexico. So, yeah, I was like just asking them like, ah, whom I need to watch and what filmmaker should I follow, what Ukrainian filmmaker. So they give me some names, but still I'm like ignorant. So the question was, I just repeat it for the audience. The Sorry. Yeah, you want to answer first, and for me not to monopolize the microphone. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's distribute. You love watching me, right? <laughs> Let's distribute the honor. So you you repeat the question. The microphone to. Answer. Yeah, about the exchange programs in our schools, right? If, if uh, as a Ukrainian, if you need to pay something or if you need to have some films like made before to be able to go to this exchange academic program, right? No, no, no. Studying here, for example, at the first floor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Like for. Specifically in my country, like in my film school, the answer is yes. You need to, um, like the school is part of a much greater like organization that's called the SELECT. It's uh, this um, film school, or like world film school organization. That it's, a, it's a group of film schools of all around the world that like get together once or twice a year and discuss like general topics of film school making or whatever. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Uh, no, no. Ah, well, but my film was, well, later we, we can take it. <laughs> I can buy you a coffee. <laughs> so um, the thing is, in this group, if, you, if, you, if your film school like, belongs to this group, it's really easy to just like, connect with the director of the film school and try to make an academic exchange. Like just write to each other and then after. As an international student, as a foreign student. You, I think it, if, if, it's a, if it's an exchange, it's for free. I mean exchange in a way that a Mexican can uh, come here to Ukraine to study for a year. That's the way we made it at, with FAMU and with Czech Republic. Like a Czech girl went to Mexico and I went to study at FAMU, so it was no cost. Actually, I, I had this scholarship and for a year I didn't pay anything at all, not in Mexico not, or in Prague. Uh, so yeah, the answer is yes, you could. Like just see, uh, like be informed if your film school is part of this organization. And in that way, it's really easy. If not, I think it's also probable that you can go. It's only just about, yeah, like a lot of writing emails and stuff like that. So I think that, that if you want to, you should like just try to do it. 
in case of Karpenka Kare, as I know, there are some program with German schools, with the, I, I don't remember which one, but there are some programs exchange. Yeah, I think in German school you could also have the international course in English. Uh, and I want to say something like in Mexico, there's no English courses, of course, it's only Spanish. But I've, we've got like really good experience of Slavic people going and learning Spanish like in two weeks. And when I'm going to Prague, I'm like having the worst time with Czech. And I, one of my best friends in the world is this uh, Czech guy that came to Mexico before I went to Prague. It was this Czech guy, Pavel Berchik, that went to Mexico to study. And for the first two weeks, we were talking in English, like speaking in English every time. And he was always asking me about what, what was the teacher saying and everything in English. And I was translating to him like the whole lesson. And after two weeks, suddenly he was speaking like a Mexican. I was like, what? <laughs> Where did you come from? Uh, so I think it's, in a way, it's much easier than you can imagine. Like just when you have to survive in a country because you don't speak the language, like something pops in your mind and suddenly you start speaking in two weeks or one month, like whoop. And yeah, it could be much easier than you can imagine. Did you have any international exchange experience then? Uh, no, I, I hadn't. But um, but um, in our s in the school I I have been and I am now there is uh, no exchange something like exchange there is if you want to go to the schools you have to go uh, for the beginning to the end uh, and uh, the language is probably the problem in Vida school there there are uh, the English uh, courses but uh, in Gdynia Film School uh, you have to know Polish so. So that's all. That's all I know. So um, my schools also have exchange. Uh, hmm? uh, international exchange, exchange program. Uh, well, if you guys wanna uh, uh, come uh, my my school, uh, uh, you uh, you don't need to uh, choice uh, major. Uh, I mean, uh, it's mean uh, you wanna you wanna. Study a film, uh, and another, and another, and another. So, you you, you don't need to the choice major. Uh, so we have a uh, uh, one class uh, uh, using English class. So uh, he is uh, from USA, uh, from uh, New Film School. So uh, it's very fine, and uh, uh, maybe. 10 to 15 per uh, European in my school. So it's cool, but, but it, it is not professional. I mean, uh, because, because it is not major, you know. Uh, 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 yeah. You shouldn't be a film student to, to study film in your school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we are studying together, but, uh, but uh, uh, exchange exchange uh, uh, students are not not major. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, but uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it is it free or I don't know. But uh, uh, I think it it is a uh, very good uh, for a relationship. Uh, uh, I to I told you uh, I told you before uh, because a friend is. Important. So, uh, you want some uh, particular relationships? Oh, come, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Well, like I said, in London, in my, in my film, in my film school, it was anyway 85, 80 percent international. Um, there were not. Yeah, I mean, there were some English students, but it was just students from all over the world. Um, so I don't think they have exchange student program. I'm actually sure they don't, but they do have like a one year program only and you do get some kind of academic points, I think. And also the school is becoming like a little bit like McDonald's or something. It's becoming like a branch. So it has now another school in Berlin, the same school. And I think one is opening in Malaysia. So you can actually do year there, year there, and you get the same, same points, which I think is nice. It's just, it's a relatively new thing. Um, and I know I'm, I can speak also about Israel if you're interested. I know that there is the, the, the biggest art school in Israel, uh, which is very, really good and, and exp I don't know, um, 
considered to be good, I guess. In, in Jerusalem, it's called Bezalel, and they have lots of exchange uh, students programs. I know I met like three people who are from place, different places in the world. They came for one year to Jerusalem. It's not specifically filmmaking. I think it's more like visual arts, but I think it's still, it still opens your mind and it's good. The other two like big film schools in Israel, I'm not sure they have exchange students program in English. You have to study Hebrew, which I think will be harder than Spanish, so you might as well. But why did you choose to why did you choose to become an international student? Why did I go to London? Yeah, why didn't didn't you stay there? Why didn't I stay in Israel? Yeah, to, um, to study. Well, first of all, the program uh, sounded interesting for me. Two, two, two years without semester breaks. Um, and I, I, I thought it would be interesting to study with the people from all around the world instead of staying uh, in the Israeli bubble. Um, not that I think that there's anything wrong with it. It was just like an instinct, which I, I'm glad I did. I think it's mostly f the question for is for Asaf because he is studying. Yeah. And I will repeat the question. So the question is: Is it hard for for you to study film, and especially when you are making a script and dialects when you are operating with not your native language? Uh, it, yeah, I was worried about that at the beginning as well, to be honest. Um, first of all, I think the teachers are quite forgiving. Um, about English, it, if you, I mean, if you write an essay, it's a different thing. But if you write a script and you make some kind of mistake, sometimes it, it's not really what matters. What matters is the, the drama. You know, they, they keep on saying to you that film is an international language or whatever. I, I, I don't know. But I think, to be honest, I think that the biggest mistake uh, that that students, international students, are doing in London is that they're trying to make films about English people and they're trying to imitate English dialect. And uh, um, and it's, it just it doesn't feel authentic. So I think the best thing you can do as an international student studying or creating in in a foreign country that is English speaking is either make something that is very fantastical, so that is very human but not specifically to the same, to the to the culture you're in, or make a film about or make I don't know exercises or films about your kind of people living in this kind of place. I mean the best thing about London is. It doesn't feel like the capital of England. It feels like the capital of the world in a way. Like you, you sit in the tube, and there's like the chances that the person speaking English next to you is like 40 percent. So it's yeah. So I, I made like my first exercise trying to cope with it. I actually made a film about an Israeli guy living in London and meeting someone like an Arab Arab butcher or something. He was speaking English, but in a very Israeli accent, like I do like this now and. Uh, his English wasn't very good. He, he can't say it, uh, three, say three, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. It's a problem. But I think that uh, teachers there are, for, are forgiving. You know, it's filmmaking. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, Oxford Literature Academy or whatever. You, you can also cheat. Like, <laughs> no. In a way, when I was at FAMU. Yeah, I was doing this kind of exercises, like a Mexican in Europe, and some kind of, <laughs> yeah, because it's easier. And whenever I, I wanted to, um, like, a Czech character, like, uh, like having some dialogue of some kind, I usually, like, go, to, no, go to Czech friends and say, like, is this a way, how, d how, d how does it sound to you? And not, not only one friend, but a lot of friends. And I think it's, in a way, it's fun. You know, it's, it's, it's not about, like, uh, yeah, the, the hard things, they're not just hard, they're fun, too. Yeah, they're, like, kind of ways, different ways to try to film, to, to, to make a film uh, in a foreign language. It's like, oh, maybe I can have fun here and there. So, yeah. 
I would say that, that I mean, 99% of the cases where international students were trying to make a film that is like an English drama in an English house, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't, it, I mean, you don't have to make films about Ukrainian people living in London, for example, if you live in London, but don't try to imitate the English culture. You have to live there at least 10, 10 years in order to understand the little nuance. That's what I think. Here you are. Do we have any other questions now? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah. It's called MET, M-E-T, Film School. It's a short from Metropolitan. It's based in Ealing Studios, which are actually working studios where they make a lot of English productions. And I have some t-shirts for two pounds behind me if you want. <laughs> 20 pounds. The, the, with the hoodie, it's 20. Um, yeah, it's called Met Film School, and it's uh, most of the teachers there are the same teacher uh, from NFTS, if you know NFTS. NFTS is a place where you only specialize in England. It's only MA, in the National Film and Television School, and it's, uh, it's quite a good school, but I wasn't studying there. And that's most most expensive film school in Europe, I think. So, and the FS. Yeah, but I mean, I, I really think that I'm, I don't know how it's in Ukraine actually, but I I think that if you really want to study in a film school, and you have some nice exercise to show or some good way to writing, you can find your uh, scholarships. You c you can find your way to get there. Somewhere abroad, not in Ukraine. Mm. No, but from the school also sometimes they give scholarships. It depends. Okay. You have the last chance to ask. Okay. Let Let's use the microphone. I'm from Fulbright program in Ukraine, and you can apply uh, to get a scholarship to, stu to study at the graduate program, master's program in the United States. And like we have almost all fields of study, including film studies. So if you are interested, you can talk to me after the presentation, or I can leave just, I have some flyers with me. And you can obviously visit our website for more information. And deadline is May 16, so you have like plenty of time to prepare. No, I don't. Uh, okay. uk. Now you can uh, visit his school online, but that will be the last advertising at this workshop. And I think we can finish on that point. And if you have any questions, you can ask them. Okay, the last one. Um, I'm interested uh, which uh, um, way of the best preparing work uh, you have done before you entering your university. So what, what did you prepare before entering your universe? It was university in life. Uh, you have an application form and you have to shoot, um, you, you need, like it's not, they say it's not necessarily but it will help you uh, to have one exercise at least of like 10 minutes uh, short film. I did it because I had evening studies in Tel Aviv before I came there. And then if, if you pass that you get a, a like an interview on the, cell, on the telephone. If you pass that then, uh, then you're in. But I, yeah, I don't think it's that hard to get in. Uh, we have uh, two exam examination for uh, entering my uh, film school now. So I preparing uh, uh, two scenario for uh, uh, ent uh, for entering. Uh, but uh, 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 writing skills are, are, are not are not that important. I think I just uh, uh, idea a good idea or something like uh, creative. Uh, that that is the that is important uh, uh, than uh, writing skills. So, 
uh, studying write writing skills is not uh, uh, if you wanna uh, entering some uh, some university uh, don't I, I tell you I, it's, it's just my thing so, uh, don't study uh, writing skills I, I think uh, watch a, watch a film and and then read a book is more uh, uh, useful. yeah yeah useful yeah okay uh, so um, you have to f f have s some I don't know some text it's n it's, uh, it's uh, not uh, in it should it could be a, a s a scenario but it uh, it can <laughs> yeah. so uh, some text and uh, you have to I, I I was a photographer uh, for five years professionally so I have I, c have, I cope with uh, images all the time so like yeah yeah portfolio yeah I have I, I had one so uh, but uh, in exams you have to work with the actors so uh, it's good if you do it uh, you can uh, do it with your friends some you can make some scenes it, it helps you um, so in Mexico if you want to study like the whole bachelor career not only the, acad the one year academic exchange or whatever but that are lots of cases that we've got like Austrians and Czechs and Portuguese and study like the whole seven years <laughs> there in Mexico. They usually stay yeah, for living in Mexico after that. Um, you have, you're not like forced to bring some previous work, but it's a really hard test. It's like, like two months test, like four stages test. At first you have like this general culture test, like usual college test just to get in. Then you got this, um, they, they put some, they show you, they screen a movie, and it's all about like analyzing the movie and knowing about stuff. And then the third stage is about like building story with photographs and s like storyboards and stuff like this. And then the fourth stage is an interview. Uh, that it's, it's, it cannot be like telephone, it, you, should, you should be present. So if you should, if, if you want to study like the four years in Mexico, you, you need to go there to present all the exams and nothing is guaranteed that <laughs> you're gonna pass the test because, and you have like the first stage, you can do it internet, via internet with a clock ticking. Yeah, it's like a normal test. But then from the second to the fourth stage, you have to be present there. And it's kind of, yeah, usually you get like a thousand Mexicans a year trying to get to this film school and only 15 get in. And it's no, only th only 12 because three spaces are for foreigners. So it's kind of hard. Uh, if we are talking about uh, exams, so there is, uh, in my school was uh, uh, three steps. It's uh, uh, so uh, the first one was uh, uh, the portfolio, the your book, uh, your text, uh, whatever you have, artistic, so some kind of artistic stuff. Uh, and they choose the 35 uh, people to come for three days for exams. And uh, there was an uh, exam of, uh, you, ha you, you, you get the, t the subject of writing, you, you get a uh, half an hour, you have to do it in a half an hour, so it's the th first step. The second was like yours, This uh, you have to uh, work with pictures, uh, telling story. You know, you have to tell a story about by the pictures. Uh, and the uh, third was uh, working with actors. You got uh, the team of uh, scene uh, or uh, some short dialogue. You have to uh, imagine all Stand all uh, you know mm, all problem uh, about because you, I I I I have uh, 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 hello hello see you whatever three three, three and you you have to think about yeah it's it's a good uh, exercise for imagination so uh, uh, and you have I have two 
actors for this scene. And uh, the, the last one was uh, uh, meeting with 10 uh, uh, tutors. You are sitting one, and they are 10, and they are all, uh, I don't know, some, they, they don't really nice, you know? It, it, it was, uh, for me, I don't know, I, I, it was, <laughs> sorry, because, uh, but, but, but it's, it was uh, the hardest this, uh, step was the, the, the in, in, uh, interview, yeah, interview was uh, the hardest. Yeah, because it's the last, you, you know, you are on the one step to, 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 to be there, and, uh, you know, but, uh, Okay, it's, uh, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say that it's, in Mexico there is this big like submission of a thousand persons just to get these 15 places or 13 or 12 places because it's, it's free. Well, it's almost free because it's a state university, right? So everyone wants to get there because you're not paying. And because they're paying for almost everything in your films and in your education, and you're not pay you're paying like um, 800 euros a year, so it's almost nothing like for everything that you get from the school. And uh, 800 euros, yeah, 800 euros a year, exactly. Uh, and for foreigners, I think it's a little bit more because they get some like special quota for yeah for being a foreigner but it's not much more i think it's like a thousand euros a year yeah. i feel like alejandro didn't mention that on the first time because he wanted to have his words the last yeah so i think that was a good talk and you can ask personally if you have something to do and you now you can applause and thank you